When uh, Rachel Maddow and I were discussing this New York Times report uh, at the beginning of the hour, she pointed out how the article of impeachment that you co-wrote focuses on Georgia, brings a very particular focus to Georgia, which seems unnecessary in an article that is about what happened in Washington, D.C. And I have to say, in, 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 while discussing with, the, with Rachel, I think there was a sense that there was that you were prescient in some way about possibly more information coming out about Georgia when you co-wrote that impeachment article. Absolutely. When we drafted the article of impeachment, we were very careful about the language that we used and the events that we referenced. And uh, that Georgia conversation was part of an ongoing effort by the president, again, to corrupt the results of the election, to maintain power by casting doubt on the results of the election, even though they were all certified by all 50 states uh, and accepted by all the election officials. This was an effort by the president to feed a lie uh, to his supporters to the point that they became enraged and violent. They came to Washington at his urging for the Stop the Steal rally, again, promoting the story that he had won. And I think just more evidence of his efforts to hold on to power, no matter what, which is why his conduct is so serious and rises to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors, because it's a fundamental attack on our democracy, on, on our peaceful transition of power, which is a cornerstone of American democracy. And uh, it was an, an incitement of serious violence uh, during the meeting of the Electoral College in an effort to stop that proceeding. And he delayed it for a bit. He didn't stop it. We came back and did our work. Uh, but that was the result of the violent attack on the Capitol incited by the president. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.